everything about history. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Bright Pages of History. Today's topic is about the man known as the father of the Turks, revered worldwide for his genius, who saved a nation on the brink of decline. Ataturk, his reforms, and an anecdote. Enjoy watching. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk is the founder and first president of the Republic of Turkey. His vision and leadership implemented a series of reforms to modernize Turkey into a contemporary nation. These reforms, known as the Ataturk Principles, are among the fundamental values of Turkey. Recently, based on the information I've gathered, even though Turks may have drifted away from these principles, there are still believers. Anyway, let's get back to our topic. The principles of Ataturk are republicanism, nationalism, populism, statism, secularism, reformism. These principles are the cornerstone laid by Ataturk to shape Turkey into a modern nation. His vision and principles remain significant values shaping Turkey's future. I'd like to share a brief piece of information with you. After the declaration of the Turkish Republic, the first political party founded by Ataturk, the Republican People's Party CHP, has a logo consisting of six arrows. These arrows represent Ataturk's reforms. Let's move on to a short story. One day in Ankara, a foreign diplomat attending a meeting at the presidential complex is drawn to a library in Ataturk's study. The diplomat notices that among the books displayed in the room, there are works in many languages. Turning to Ataturk with surprise, the diplomat asks, I see that there are books in many languages. Mr. Ataturk, do you know all these languages? Ataturk responds to the diplomat's question with a smile, No, it's not possible for me to know all of them. However, with the knowledge and culture hidden in each book, we need books in every language to understand the soul of a nation. Each book reflects the history, culture, and thoughts of a nation. That's why I include works from different languages in my library. The diplomat is deeply moved by Ataturk's response. He realizes that Ataturk is a leader who values not only the culture and knowledge of his own country but also that of the entire world. The Turks are very fortunate to have such a leader. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel for more information and history and don't forget to like my videos.